Hello everyone, dear ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Janina Petrovska from LLP Lawyers Liechtenstein. We are doing a live uh, video from uh, this fantastic view to the Prinsley Castle. Um, my task for today is to discuss with you what is the USP unique selling uh, proposition of Liechtenstein as a place to uh, start or to continue your blockchain business. So first of all, you might have heard that Liechtenstein is a tiny state located between uh, Switzerland and Austria. Um, it's one of the smallest states in the world that actually exists. But thanks to the size of the country, it can offer to your business a really fast speed of uh, how state authorities work and, and how everything is done. Uh, you might have heard about this country in relation to the Blockchain Act, because Liechtenstein is one of the first countries in the world to introduce um, a very systematic uh, regulation uh, for um, doing all sorts of blockchain businesses. Uh, they even gave definition for what is token, how token is transferred on blockchain and how rights related to tokens are also transferred which is fundamental for trading um, with, with tokens and tokenized assets, especially. Also, um, it offers basis for a wide range of token services providers, both crypto exchanges, token generators and issuers. By the way, you may download the um, summary of the, of the Blockchain Act uh, on our uh, homepage. Also really important is that banks uh, both in Switzerland and Liechtenstein work with blockchain projects. Um, it's not that easy. It requires uh, quite a lot of time, attention and sometimes ex uh, expenses um, related to passing um, compliance procedure. But still there are around 10 to 15 banks that work with blockchain projects. Also all the banks in, in Switzerland that work with crypto, that work with companies from Liechtenstein. That is important and to mention. Most importantly for all security tokens, um, since they're normally financial products, is that um, Liechtenstein, uh, not a member of European Union, but a member of European Economic Area, has access to uh, European single market. Using passporting procedure and notifications, you may be able to distribute your security tokens throughout the entire uh, European Union. Uh, in general, Liechtenstein as a jurisdiction from the very beginning uh, used to be some sort of offshore country. It still, it still is a low tax um, country, which is good for holding companies, uh, for various uh, businesses. Um, it still offers really, really um, favorite uh, tax conditions uh, for all sorts of businesses. Um, and especially also for blockchain businesses. What is important to mention that um, over 10-15 years ago they, they decided that they're going to be 100% compliant and that, that is how they work right now at a low tax jurisdiction, 100% compliant with all the European uh, legislation and with all the tax requirements. Compared to, to a lot of other countries I don't, I don't really want to compare. <laughs> because it, it might seem to be unfair to, to some of the countries that also do their best uh, to be attractive for um, blockchain businesses, IT companies. Um, but still, um, if you compare Liechtenstein, Malta or Estonia, um, Liechtenstein has a similar quality of uh, legal system as Switzerland. As a tiny country, it has taken part of its legislation from, from Switzerland and part from Austria. So the um, way how legal system and how state works um, is more sort of Swiss quality standard, especially compared to, to other jurisdictions, some other countries also form offshore. It has been, it has a history as financial center. It has around 15 banks, uh, also over 10 uh, fund management companies. And it used to be traditionally a place for trust services. Um, until the common reporting standard by OECD was introduced. Um, and right now blockchain is, is coming in and especially uh, application of blockchain for financial markets, for security tokens. 
Liechtenstein has overall or used to have in the past couple of years over 300 billion assets under management and it has as economic and political system itself as a state ratings triple uh, A plus uh, by Standard & Poor's and Moody's etc. Um, in general, it is a very stable state, a constitutional monarchy, and it should be noted that both in Switzerland and Liechtenstein, um, you are able to see this state as service approach, um, and all the businesses coming here. On the one hand, of course, uh, you would need to comply with all the regulation, and sometimes it's not that easy as somewhere on Cayman Islands. But on the other hand, it shows certain quality for investors and for consumers of your products or services um, because it's a jurisdiction that combines uh, flexibility of the small state with a um, quite high level of standards in regulation of financial markets. Um, so I think uh, we discussed pretty much everything about the USP of Liechtenstein. I'm Janina Petrovska, LP Lawyers. Uh, open for your questions and comments. Thanks a lot.